hello and welcome to the channel if you are new here please subscribe and like our videos today we are going to learn how to connect to a back of plc using a laptop and ethernet cable you need to have twin card installed in your laptop or your pc and in my case i'm using twin card 2. to start you have to confirm that your laptop ip address is set to dynamic or dhcp let me show you how to do that the local area network properties right now it is set to dhcp or dynamic if it has static it was static is here you have to input your static ip address but once you select this button it becomes dynamic don't forget to to click on the DNS server address automatically to obtain DNS server address automatically. That's how we do it. Okay, close here. The next step is to open Twin Card System Manager. Twin Card System Manager. As you can see here, the PLC is stopped and this is the IAMS net field. When you successfully connect to the PLC, this will change to runtime you're going to see. Once you open the system manager, navigate to system configuration and select choose target. Once this window opens, select search Ethernet. Once this add drop dialog opens, Click on IP address and ensure the target name and the root name are both static. Once you have done that, click on Broadcast Search. If you don't get anything, you can Broadcast Search again. You, you, you can broadcast search as many times as you want and still until you find a list of connected CPUs in the network. This is our CPU PLC. To add it, to connect to it, you, you need to add root. Let me show you how to do that. You highlight and click on add route and input the password. The default username and password is administrator for the username and the password is one but this one is different because i've changed it if you input a wrong password you are going to get this error error message it is yes, error reading writing not permitted so you have to retry again Okay. If the connection is successful, you'll notice an X here under connected. If you don't get this X, you have to retry again, adding route until you get this X. But this is connect this is successfully connected. So you close this window and you select this CPU that you have just connected to. Click OK. As you can see, the runtime has changed to grid, so it is running. This is the AM field of the the CPU. So that's how we connect to uh, back of CPU or PLC using a laptop and Ethernet cable. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe.